Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the ice auger motor on your refrigerator. The reason why you would have to replace this motor is because your auger is not turning and not dispensing ice. For this repair, you'll need a quarter inch nut driver, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of channel locks. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. For this demonstration, I'll be using an Electrolux refrigerator. This is a side-by-side -side fridge. Keep in mind though that your fridge may be a little bit different, but the same technique should still apply. We're gonna open up the freezer door. So we're gonna take out this plastic panel and we're gonna take out our ice holder. Now to get the ice maker out, we're gonna take out two screws that are holding it in. So I'm gonna use my quarter inch nut driver to remove both screws. Now we don't have to unscrew it all the way. Just unscrew it part way and then just release or just lift up on the ice maker. And we can pull it out a little bit. And now we have to undo the wire harness. And we can remove the ice maker. We'll take our quarter inch nut driver again. We're gonna get the two screws that are in the bottom here holding this in. Now that we've got those two screws out, get that out of its spot. And we're gonna have to unplug this one too. So, once we get it pulled out a little bit, we're gonna unplug this right from the back wall here. I'll use my hands, just like that, and pull this right out. All right, so now I'm gonna remove these screws with our Phillips head screwdriver. Now that those screws are off, we can remove this entire section. And what we'll do here, because this is plugged in, we'll move this right from there. We've got a couple screws on top of this. So we're gonna be removing those as well. And we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna remove the screws from the bottom. And with those screws off, now take off the back piece here. Got that off to the side. So now we're gonna take a pair of channel locks, grab onto the motor shaft, just like that, put it right against the surface here so it doesn't move anywhere. We're going to hold it there. Now we're going to take this auger spinning part and we're going to twist the opposite way because this is reverse threaded on. So we're just going to take this off just like that. And then the next thing we need to do is take out the three screws that are holding the motor in place. Okay, now we can just lift this up, and that motor will come right out, so we're just going to take the wires out and keep in mind where they are. That. And now we're going to take the other one out, it's a grounding wire, we just got to take that screw out. And there we go, got that off. We'll set that off to the side. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement motor. If you don't have one already, you can find one on our online store. 
Okay, so now I'm going to take our grounding wire and I'll screw that in first. Now I'm going to line this up here with our holes before I plug anything else in. And I'm going to flip this back over and we'll screw this part back in too. And I'll tighten those down all the way. over and we'll plug these two guys back in there we go now we can take our channel locks grab onto this again we'll spin this on as much as we can that's nice and tight on there so now we're going to take the plastic back and we're going to put that back on. And what we're going to do is put this back over just like that. We'll line up all of our holes. down. Make sure this wiring harness is right in the hole there. And we'll put in our other two screws. There we go. Now that that's back on, we can get our metal shelf and make sure that our Temperature sensor lines up right here with our plug. Like that. And we'll plug this back in. And now move this so that it all fits back together. There we go. Now we just have to line the holes up again. Start on this side. All right. Now that we have that put back together, we'll open up our freezer again. Set that back there. And plug that back in, just like that. All right, now we can grab our quarter inch nut driver. And we'll screw these bottom screws back in. We'll plug that back in. And the wire harness is plugged in. And now we can turn it and adjust it so that we can slide these two tabs right on top of the screws again. Once we've done that, we can tighten them up. Now we can replace our ice shelf. place this plastic shelf as well. And now your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, pcapplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.